God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and wisdom to know the difference. Hope for today, May 27th. Before I came into the program, I struggled with feeling numb and fragmented. Once in Al-Anon and exposed to step two, I had to ask the question, what does it mean to me to be insane, to be sane or insane? There were some good indicators in my life of both sanity and insanity. Still, I didn't believe I had anything to do with the presence or absence of either of them. They just happened. In time, I learned that the emotional numbness I had developed to cope with growing up with alcoholism contributed much to my sense of insanity. It forced me to see life as happening totally outside of and unconnected to myself. In Al-Anon, by learning to listen to my feelings, give them a name, and express them, I built a bridge between my broken self, my higher power, and my wholeness. Never in my wildest dreams could I have known that my insanity came from my lost relationship with myself and with God. Thought for the day. Al-Anon gives me the opportunity to retrieve all the broken, scattered aspects of myself and offer them to God to piece together into wholeness. And here's a quote from Survival to Recovery. Sometimes slowly or haltingly, occasionally, in great bursts of brilliance, those who work with the steps change and grow toward light, toward health, and toward their higher power. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen.